Hey, welcome in to the Karis Penko YouTube channel. I'm Paul, your host today, and we are talking about the Cube Machined Pen Holder. And if you're unfamiliar with what that is, um, because you just think, hey, you know, Karis Penko, Karis Customs, they manufacture pens, and now they've gone into pencils and stuff, uh, that which is definitely true. However, we have been manufacturing pen holders for quite some time, uh, all the way back in 2014 was when we got our start doing uh, machine pen holders, specifically with the Cube. So let's kind of get into a little bit of that um, in terms of the, the background behind the Cube. <clears throat> so in 2014, we decided to collaborate with a local writing instrument, uh, pen aficionado slash influencer slash blogger, um, the wonderful Mr. Mike Dudek, who runs the Clicky Post blog and also runs uh, Dudek Mar Goods. Um, one is obviously a blog where he writes and reviews writing instruments, and the other is his own company where he machines um, pen holders out of wood. Uh, and so he had reviewed some of our pens and uh, liked our product and was literally just around the corner, lives in the same town uh, as the shop is in, or the same city in Mesa, um, not too far from where Bill lives. And so uh, it just kind of made sense for, he, he was coming by the shop and everything, and we just decided to do a collaboration with him and basically do our own version of his cube, just a, a slightly modified with our kind of design flair on it with the chamfers and some machine Delrin inserts, the rounded corners. And then um, the bottom of it has, has a, our two logos machined on there. Um, and it was a big, big, big success. We ran the Kickstarter in 2014, fulfilled the Kickstarter in 2015. Um, and though we ran into some problems with the anodizing, we had, because we used to anodize them, um, it was, it was a huge success. We had a, a lot of fun doing it and it's become one of our most popular non, it has become actually our, our most popular non-pen item that we sell. Um, and due to the fact that it's a collaboration, it's basically a licensed piece of equipment. Uh, every time we sell one, uh, we basically um, pay a portion of, of the of the cost, or the, the portion of the price is built in that goes to, do, to Dudek, Mike Dudek, for the for the licensing fees for every single one that, that we sell. Um, so you're basically helping our small business continue to thrive, but also helping Mike continue to do what he loves to do. Um, so what you're looking at right now are is three different versions of the of, of the, the, the three different main versions of the cube. We have the standard cube in the front, which that one is a Cerakote version that we did in Robin's Egg Blue. Uh, we no longer have any of those available. It was a very small run that we did specifically and only for the pen club members. Um, and then to the left of that, we have the notebook cube, which it's a little bit difficult to see with the notebooks in there. Um, but it has, it allows for several notebooks to be put in. There's two in that one, but it can hold probably comfortably two more, maybe even three. So four or five total or a, a decent sized um, A5 notebook will fit in there. And then there's three, it also holds behind that, it holds three pens um, in machine Delrin inserts. Uh, as in the front, obviously, we have the, the standard nine hole uh, cube that holds nine pens in there. And then to the right, we have the business card cube, which has a little slot for a stack of business cards. And then you've got six machined Delrin inserts to hold six pens. Um, they're beefy. Made it, so initially when we released this, the machine, the cube machine pen holder, um, we offered it in a variety of different aluminum options, and then we also had an upgrade to brass. Unfortunately, for a variety of reasons, one of which is just it's difficult to source the brass for this particular job because it has to be custom made to the size for us. 
we have not had the brass in in stock since the end of 2019. Um, and I don't know that we will actually have the brass in stock um, anytime soon for the, for that reason, but also because the price, uh, our price of that particular product has gone up um, and has gone up a lot um, to the point where the the previous price of the brass cubes was $375. We would likely be somewhere around 500 to 550 for a brass cube at this point. And we always get asked if we're ever going to make it out of copper, and unfortunately that's just out of the question. Sourcing copper in that uh, in that size would be a custom job, would need to be in such huge quantities, and would cost us so much we would likely not ever be able to actually pull that off. Um, but we'll continue to offer them in aluminum, and, in, and we've added different different variations. As you can see here, we now have these three options. And the standard version is your polished uh, aluminum. On the left, the, the notebook cube is out of the polished, raw polished aluminum. We don't do any surface treatments to, the, to this aluminum cube. It's literally just the raw material. We go ahead and polish it with uh, a cleaning solution and wipe it down with a microfiber cloth to make sure there's no big scratches on it and ships like that. We also offer the tumbled, the raw tumbled aluminum finish, which is the right side you're looking at there with the, the business card holder. That one is tumbled in our heavy tumbler with, uh, with a, basically a ceramic solution as well as a liquid solution for about seven, six to seven hours. They stay in there just kind of banging around on each other and gives you that nice tumbled finished look that a lot of people really go after we also frequently have um, two anodized versions which are both hard anodized we have the natural anod type 3 anodized um, which is flat dark earth fde it's uh it's a gray gray green kind of an really light olive or a, a, an olive greenish gray color I believe there's there might be some of those available on the website right now. Um, and then we also have the black, the hard black type 3 anodized, which both of those anodized are primarily used for military and firearms um, applications. But due to the fact that they're, the, the coating on that is thicker um, than a standard, than the standard anodized we use on our pins, we can use that, doesn't we can't use the, the hard anodized on the pins because of our threads. We can use it on the cubes because it doesn't have any threads. So that's why we use it on the cubes. We offer that as an option on the cubes. And then we've also started to offer some of the cubes in uh, some of the Cerakote colors. And we currently have a few of the business card holders available on the website in both Monster Green and the Coyote Tan. Um, so there you kind of have the overview in terms of what you're looking at for the cubes. Um, pricing on the cubes, you know, is going to be your standard. Um, I believe we're looking, I think we're at 115 for a standard cube. <clears throat> Excuse me. 115 for the standard, 120 for the standard cube option. Um, and then I think 170 for the Cerakote, I believe it's 125 or 130 for the, the, the hard anodized when we have those in, in, um, in stock on the website. Uh, so you're getting, and this, like I said, this is a solid machined aluminum. You're, you're looking at something that's, you know, four pounds. Um, it's a big, heavy thing that's going to be on your two and a half to, to four pounds, depending on the, whichever one you get. Cause the, the, um, the notebook one is a little bit lighter than the nine hole. So you've got, you know, you have a decent, very nice looking piece for, for your, you know, for your desk or what have you. Definitely something um, that if you're looking for a large, substantial pen holder, something a little bit nicer than your coffee mug or um, one of the plastic pen holders that, that screws together. This is a really great option. We offer other pen holders. Obviously, we've expanded to the 4K and 8K, which will be covered in another video. Um, 
but this is kind of our bread and butter, our flagship pen holder, as, as you can put it. Um, and we think that it really shines on its own as kind of both the design and the way that it looks, the way that it feels, the way that it functions as really, you know, something that if you're a collector of pen and you want to show off and highlight a decent amount of pens, you know, nine pens, six pens, this is going to be a really good option for you. So there you have it, everybody. Um, the machined pen, or the machined, <laughs> the cube machine pen holder, it's a whole mouthful to say. Um, uh, that's the overview on that one. It, it's pretty easy, not very much in depth to go over. There's not a lot of moving parts on it. You know, you, I'm not showing you a bunch of refills and ways to do different things. It's it's a pen holder. It holds all of our pens from the the widest diameter, um, the ink, all the way down to our smallest one because the inside of those is is is, del is Delrin. The Delrin inserts not going to scratch up any of our pens. It's real. We have them, we actually do not machine them anymore now that we have them molded. Um, and so that inner surface on that is basically crystal smooth, just absolutely, totally smooth. So it's not going to damage any of your pens. So you can, you know, safely put, I put my Mont Blanc in there. I put our pens in there. I put vertexes in there and multiple different uh, materials. So you don't need to worry about that. But there you have it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and drop those down below. We would really appreciate it. I would definitely really appreciate it if you would go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Uh, like this post, especially if you got something out of it. There will be links in the description where you can just click on those if you'd like to see what's currently available for this, for the Cube. And there is, um, if you're watching this right now, we have a Cube, a $10 or a 10% off Cube um, coupon code that's in there as well that is valid through March 15th. So go ahead and take advantage of that, March 15th, 2022. Otherwise, everybody, thank you so much. I'll talk to you next time. And once again, I'm Paul Karis Penko. Appreciate you being here and listening to me. Um, be good. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.